Uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. This is kind of embarrassing, but I've written what I want to say on my phone because I really don't want to screw it up. Lord, she had a good night, didn't she? All right, this it was quite the night. Billboard Music Awards, and we're going to hit on some of the highlights. What everybody's talking about, uh, Justin Timberlake, he was funny as always. Michael Jackson, The Hologram. Creeped out, you like the song, a little bit of both. We'll talk about that. Robin Thicke, song to try and win back his wife. Miley Cyrus, surprising subdued performance. And then Kendall Jenner and the goof. Holland Reed's back hey, with us. How Entertainment are you? journalist, let's make it official. All <laughs> make right. It official. Let's Done. get to it. Yeah. Let's watch Michael and let's. I love the song, <sighs> but are you creeped out by the hologram? Let's watch it. Yes, sir, by nine. Colin is getting it going out here. That's first off. That is a good song. Slave to the Rhythm. That is a great song. But, the, okay, what about the hologram itself? Okay, so I'm, I have mixed Creeped emotions. Creeped out or not? I, I, it's a, it was a little creepy, but it was so good to just kind of have all those memories of Michael dredged up on stage. It's like, that's more where the emotion, I think, came from for me watching it. It was like, oh, Michael, gosh, Did you get emotional? Gone. I did get a little emotional watching it. People it was, in the audience, there were some tears. Everybody was crying. Um, I mean, definitely thinking that he's gone, you know? And he, I know. But to kind of see him... On stage, you know, almost on stage was just amazing. And that, that see that beginning, and I and I guess the dancing, and I guess the screens moving right. a little bit. That's why it was kind of waving. A little weird, a little weird. But I mean, and then the, they guess they had a stand-in dancer as well. Was I that understand. how they pulled that they off? They had a stand-in dancer. They CGI'd the whole thing, um, computer generated from far away. If you looked at it, you were yes. really it was yes. like wow, Michael Jackson is on stage. But I think once you got a little closer to it, it was like well, wait a minute, this is getting a little creepy because right. it definitely seemed like you said video game-ish, you know. But yeah. still, nonetheless, well, let me read a couple. Of, this is uh, Facebook, Twitter. Katie wrote this. Uh, the Michael Jackson hologram was amazing. Wish it was the real deal. There will never be another. A lot, not a lot of bad yeah. emotion. Meredith wrote, ooh, I don't think I like the Michael Jackson hologram. Creepy, beat it, fake Michael. So <laughs> that people couldn't get over the hump. And I, I saw other people right. saying, it's sad when a guy who's dead performs right. better than those who are still living. Yeah. He, was, he stole the show with he this He did performance. steal the show. I mean, if you, <laughs> you're, you have a hologram of a unfortunate dead man who steals the show over top of all these amazing, uh, still very much alive artists. That's kind of interesting. Right. He's there. the man. Okay. He's the man. Let's get to the other one. Robin Thicke. Uh, Song yeah. for his wife, Paula Patton. <laughs> get her back. Is he winning her over? You over or not? Let's watch that one. I never should have raised my voice but made you feel so small. I never should have asked you to do anything at all. I should have kissed you longer. I should have held you stronger. And I'll wait for forever for you to love me again. Waiting forever for you to love me again. You're not buying it, are you? And that was I'm one of the not. hashtags, not buying it. I'm You're not. not. I, here's the Why thing. Why not? Uh, okay, here. At this point, if Paula Patton has already decided she's moved on, this is annoying. This is desperate. It's annoying. If the relationship ended because of an alleged threesome gone wrong, which Whoa, happens, you just you, you just don't cross certain lines apparently and, and and Paula Patton said no that that was hands off I, I guess allegedly allegedly and so now at this point he's now it's just desperate and it's and it's annoying mm. it's kind of like dude I'm over you let it go stop singing about me on live television but if she's not over it he's the man right. of the hour because he's still trying to save his marriage well you got to give it everything you got and right. but most people in your camp Michael wrote this I'm uncomfortable on so many levels thanks Robin Thicke and Niles uh, tweeted Robin Thicke might have lost her forever with that performance. Yeah. Tough crowd. Like you. Come on, maybe I'm the <laughs> sap romantic here. One more. Kendall Jenner and the goof uh, as she's trying to introduce this group. What's her name again? Uh, one, one Direction. I oh, believe. Five Seconds of Summer. Five. And then she thinks it's yeah. One Direction. See, oh, we're did. both oh, confused. That's the what team, it was. She was I'm, confused, I'm, I'm, too. I'm confused. Let's, let's watch it. Thinking that's what she was doing, yeah. Recently, they made their debut on the Billboard 200 number two. This summer, and now we welcome one... Guys, I'm the worst reader. Um, <laughs> they're only getting bigger. Take a look. Here's the tweet uh, from Mark. Kendall is what happens when we continue to reward mediocrity. Oh. Reality TV is the leprosy of the 21st century. How about this? If you're going to introduce a band, know their name. Yeah. 
or just learn, maybe practice on the teleprompter a couple times before you go on live yeah. national stage like that. John Travolta's going, whoo, I'm off the hook. <laughs> right. That was, I mean, that definitely she, for even to follow it up by saying I'm such a bad reader, you pretty much just ensured that you're not going to get another host. Adele Dazeem, you're I'm off the hook. All right. Uh, how about this? Nice job, Holly. Good go. stuff there. Very spirited.